Hello. names of others I can see your names are disappearing um, I will see your names when they appear when you comment on the video I can see your names to shout out to you God bless you for joining and please invite others share this video let us discuss reasons why people hate and household enemies that's the topic today you're listening right now that's playing on the background is Towa Reality by Towa Timothy Asote watching the king lady show the topic today is reasons why people hate and household enemy that's what we are going to discuss today so please we are also going to be promoting some of the music's afrobeat music while we are talking on the show okay and your host today is me king lady chayans and this is my fan page like this page and subscribe to my live videos so you're not going to be missing out and please invite your friends to join us here live okay all right so enjoy the music mm -hmm. and i'll be right back yes don't forget the topic reasons why people hate there are so many reasons why people hate so that's the things we are going to discuss today reasons why people hate reasons why people don't like you reasons why people jealous you 
and stuff. You know, that's what the king lady will discuss with you today. I'll be right back. Enjoy the music. My sunshine, you're my comfort. Nice one, Evie. Thank you. Invite your friends and share, okay? Thank you very much and leave your comments there. So in the meantime, we are still playing music so that we can get people to join us. Thank you and happy Easter to all of you. You're watching the King Lady Show all the way from the Netherlands. And please also let me know where you're watching me from. It's very important for the show. Thank you. joining the king lady show yes if you're watching me from dubai thank you shout out to you all the way in dubai if and let me see the rest of you yes yes okay we need more people to join this video as you know the topic today is household enemies haters you know reasons why people hate that's the caption of this video reasons why people hate so we're going to take one more song, you know, before it's 2.30. I saw people to join me here, 2.30. So I am still waiting for them to mm -hmm. join. Okay? <laughs> Let's go, dear. <laughs> I'm 
discuss today haters haters reasons why people hate is what we're going to discuss today so what are the reasons why people hate why do people hate people when we say hate hate is that bitterness in someone that anger you know and how does hate transpire you know what brings hate people could start hating on somebody who has something they don't have People could start hating on somebody because the person is smart and they are not smart. People could start hating on somebody because the person reminds them of their own faults, of their own flaws, of their own mistakes. Okay? So, there are reasons why people hate and those are the reasons we are going to discuss in the Careless Show today. While we also promote some music. Thank you for joining the show, DJ Owas. Thank you for joining us. And don't forget, mm. you have haters in your families too. So that is why we're talking also about household enemies. Okay? Household enemies, hate, reasons why people hate, and household enemies. Thank you for joining. Uh, Wari Biboye says, careless is the toughest in Europe. Thank you so much. Yes, I feel honored. Thank you. I appreciate. You know, with God, all things are possible. Careless is taking it one step at a time. Golden Diary in the house. I see you, Golden Diary. And EU Starboy is in the house. Thank you for joining us. DJ Owas is also in the house. Thank you, DJ Owas, for joining the show. And DJ Owas says, hate are everywhere. Yes, you know the hate is too much. The envy is too much. The anger is too much. So this is why the King Lady has come to discuss with you people the reasons why people hate some of the reasons because we cannot tell all the reasons why people mm. hate but we can touch some areas so that if you think that you have the stain in you because we don't know somebody may be seeing me as a hater and i feel to myself i'm not a hater you know we can comment put our comments say our opinion on things on videos on pictures or whatever thing we see on articles and people think that we are hating because of the kind of comments we put. So are we truly haters? So what are the reasons actually why people hate? And so you can put yourself in the shoe if you are a hater or not by the time we have, you know, discussed those reasons. DJ Owa says, I see them everywhere. Yes, they are everywhere. They are in your home, they are in your kitchen, they are in your toilet, they are in your bathroom. They follow you everywhere. Haters are like spirits. Okay, so they are like spirits. And that spirit is what is, you know, manifesting in people. Hate is a spirit, so as love. It is that spirit that now manifests in people to behave the way they behave, for you to see if the person is mm. a hater, or for you to assume, or for you to conclude, or, you know, whatever. So, but at the end of the day, we are observing, especially on social media, we have to be very, very observant. Because sometimes we label people to be haters when they are not really haters. 
just because they give critics does not mean that they are haters okay so that's why we need to discuss reasons why people hate let me take some other comments Francisca Guandalina says, wow, you look great. Thank you, Francisca. Happy Easter to you. And thank you for joining the show. Invite others to join us and share. Also, contribute to the reasons. If you have any reason why people hate you, put it down there. Because that is what I am going to discuss with you today. And so, mm -hmm. in this discussion, you should know also that we have our family members, our friends, our neighbors who could also be hating on you on anyone okay so let's discuss and get straight mm. to the point invite people and listen to the good music in the house with the king lady okay mm -hmm. so today's topic now hate 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 why people hate why are they hating on you why are they hating on me why are they hating on themselves okay yes let's go there god pass them says dj Owas. yes god pass them <laughs> god pass the haters so they don't forget us you know why they don't forget us because god there for our side and one with god is majority so you should not be scared of the haters because you are not the reason why they're hating on you you're just being yourself if at all you have people who are hating on you it is not your fault that people are hating on you so let us find out the reasons why people hate why people hate so bad that they could also want to kill somebody you know some people mm -hmm. hate they hate so bad that they would want to kill somebody you understand so listen to this song Celeste once more from Timothy Asante <laughs> my own their size so you know understand oh my god let's see they worry my camera today okay make i keep on like that make on a no vex you know say i don't get camera person now mm -hmm. so now make we enter the topic make we enter the topic make we you know more could dig and more could dig and because of time you know i want to spend one hour with you people aka diego edo says you look great dash me your head now nah. ah Oh yeah, come and take come. come and take it all. Oh. Thank you so much, my sister, my lovely. God bless you. God bless you for joining the show. Happy Easter to you and your family. 
Happy Easter to all of you. May God help you that all your dreams, your heart desires come true. And God also help you so that you do not have hate in your heart. Okay? I want to know where you're watching me from. So, but please, I may not be able to be taking your comments all the time. Else, I'm going to deviate from the topic. So, we are discussing haters. Reasons why people hate. Did you want to say, now the eyeglass are they die for? Abby, thank you so much. Everybody love this eyeglass. Thank you. Let me take another comment. Master Plant XV says, watching from Sambisa Forest all the way from Switzerland. Okay, oh, salutes to the people in Sambisa from King Lady Chayans. Okay, thank you so much for joining the show. <laughs> as they talk and so, maybe we still continue the talk, say, hating the reasons why people hate. One of the reasons why people hate is because they want to be like you. Yes. Do you agree with me? If you agree with me, show love. I want to see love signs. If you're following, if you're hearing me, if you're listening, I mean, you're understanding what I'm saying. Okay. So you show sign by thumbs up, by sharing the video, by showing love and hearts. Okay. That's where I know that you're following what I'm saying. And also leave your comments and invite your friends. So because they want to be like you. Okay, I wrote down a few things. I wrote an article on this topic. So actually, this is what I'm going to discuss with you. Reasons why people hate. The reasons why people hate is because they want to be like you. People want to be like you. But they can't. Okay, they can't be like you. So they might hate you. And psychologically, stable people try to become better. Stable people. Mm -hmm. Somebody who's stable. If they like what you have, if they want to be like you, they're going to work on the self to improve the self. They're not going to be there bitter and angry and jealous of you. Okay? So psychologically, those who want to envy you for, you know, positive envy, positively like you, admiration. Say, I want to be like Obama tomorrow. I want to be like Michelle Obama. I want to be like this person. Okay? I admire them. I see them as my mentor. Those people go and work on themselves and improve themselves instead of hating. So people don't like you because they cannot be you. They cannot be like you. They cannot have what you have. Okay. And you remind them of the things they cannot do. They want to do them, but they cannot do them. Okay. So an unstable person will, will just hate anyone who is better than them. Do you understand? Somebody who's unstable is going to mm. hate on somebody who is better than them because they are too lazy. Elodie Oba says, yes, you are right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I want to see your love screen. So I want to see your hearts on the screen. Okay. Now let us go to another reason why people hate. We have talked about they cannot be you because they want to be like you, but they cannot be you. So they go hating on you. Another reason why people hate is because they need to feel good about themselves. Yes. Because of jealousy. Thank you very much. Jealousy is another one. Good day, Juliet Itepo. Francisca Guandalina says because of jealousy. Yes. Jealousy is one of the reasons. So because they need to feel good about themselves, those people who do not like themselves can hate on people. So many people hate others to elevate their self-esteem and to feel better about themselves. Mm. Okay? People could be hating you because you have self-esteem issues and not because you are bad or defective. So those people hating on you, it's not your fault that they're hating on you. You've got something. You've got charisma. Okay? You're brilliant. You're smart. You're working hard. You're earning your salary. You're independent. You're not begging food. You're not suffering and those people who cannot be like you and really don't like their own life so they come to hate on you happy good friday juliet itepo happy good friday to you yes so another reason is because they want to elevate themselves by putting others down so there are people who come on social media they give critic people like me you know things we see on social media we criticize about it doesn't mean that we are hating on the person there's a difference between hating on a person and criticizing what somebody has done because everybody's got mm. their own opinion yes so when you give your opinion your opinion could come across to other people as part you are a hater 
It depends on the person's mindset. It depends on how the person reasons what you have said. It depends on how the person's, how high or how low the person's IQ is, right? So, so many people hate others to elevate themselves, to make them feel good about themselves, you know? So, and because you remind them of their failure, you remind them of the things they cannot do. So, they're going to hate on you. When people see your success, you are successful, okay? It reminds them that they are not doing well. It reminds them that they've got flaws. It reminds them that there's areas in their life that they need to elevate. So some people do not know how to go about to elevate themselves in a positive way. They're going to come out and lash out with other people directly or indirectly with bitterness, anger, frustrations, mm. you know, abuses, you know, cursing, you know. So yes, those are the reasons, one of the reasons also why people hate you. Okay? When you're being successful, when you're working hard, you know, you're focused, you know what you're doing. If you're in the entertainment industry or you're working in a secular place, you have your secular job. You know what I'm saying? So you always have one or two person who are not going to like you. So another reason, put it down. Another reason why people hate you is because you are getting the attention they always wanted to get. Happy Easter to you, Amelia Honey White. Getting the attention. You are getting the attention. Darcy Andrew, thank you for joining the show. So, another reason why people hate you is because you are getting the attention. They are not getting it. Say, for instance, somebody is doing a talk show. You are doing a talk show. Uh, another artist is there doing his music. Mm. You are doing your music. Or another actress is there doing his or her acting. And, there, you know, so no one person can be in the music industry. No one person can become a presenter. No one person can become. So, but then when they are not getting the attention, their colleague, their neighbor, their friend, their sister, their brother is getting, they become jealous. They become envious. They begin to hate because they are not getting the attention so people hate other people when they harm them directly or indirectly do you understand so i want to see that you're enjoying this video by showing your hearts don't just be looking at me also to let me understand that you follow up you're following what i am saying you understand and if i'm speaking too fast for you please you let me know don't forget we are also playing music during the show okay mm -hmm. So people hate others when they harm them directly or indirectly by getting the attention people we are looking for. Mm. Yes. By getting the attention people we are looking for, you harm them. So you don't know that you're harming them. You don't know. You just do your thing. You just posted a video or you just posted a picture and people are liking your picture. You get uh, 1,000 likes and then your friend is on the corner. She's sitting there. She's saying, mm -hmm. now, wow. Now, wow. So not only how did they like her picture, see you. Nah, 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 she put picture, she don't get 1,000 like. Eh? Nah, 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 she put video, she don't get how many views. Now, wow. Hmm. Now, wow, you know? So, some people can even take it to gossip and call other people and begin to talk trash about you just because you got 1,000 like in your picture, 1,000 views in your videos. Bless you, King Lady, African Kekendo. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bless you too. Happy Easter to you. So when people are hating you, when people are hating on you, it means also that you are harming them directly or indirectly. Okay. So when you have, when you buy your car or you rented a new apartment or you went to a new school or you got a new job, you're just doing you. You're just living your life. But another person may see that you're showing up. Another person may be on the corner sitting and say, mm. hmm, now wow. Not only you, not only you, they buy car. Like we bought a car and you put it on Facebook. Some people will be on the corner hating on you. They may even come and like that car, like the picture, tell you, oh, it's fine. But inside their heart, they are not happy for you. Okay, so that is because they cannot get what you have. They cannot be you. So another reason why people hate is because they think your life is great. Yes. That is when they want to be like you. That comes to also trying to be like somebody else. They think your life is great. And one thing you should know is that everybody is unique. Everybody is special. Everybody is important. Everybody is blessed. It depends on your mindset. It depends on how you carry yourself. It depends on your goals. It depends on your visions. It depends on what you want to become in your future. 
okay so when you feel that somebody else is greater than you if you are a stable person what you should do is to improve yourself upgrade yourself if it is that you're lacking education you go to school if it is that you're lacking clothes you go look for job so you can buy good clothes if it is that you, you're not mobile you look for ways to buy a car or you know rent a car or do something you know to make yourself feel good you do it for yourself not because you want to go into competition with people because when you begin to do it to get into competition you're going to stress yourself okay do you understand you're going to stress yourself so never go into buying something or getting something out of jealousy out of envy out of hate because what you're buying may not be what you need you're just buying it because someone else has it you're just angry because somebody else could afford what you cannot afford at the moment but if you work hard focus work hard be consistent in yourself work on yourself you may be greater than that person so another reason why people hate is because they feel that you're greater than them right people can hate others when they believe that they are living great lives they usually you know this happens when people compare themselves that is where comparison comes into and when you begin to compare your life with other people's life, it can frustrate you, it can make you angry, it can make you bitter, it can make you jealous, it can make you begin to hate. It can make you actually forget about who you are. Because you may work on yourself and you become greater than this person that you think their life is so great, they got everything going for them, oh my god, she's changing clothes, she's changing wear, she's, she, you know, her fashion is on point, her swag is on point, his, this is on point, but you can also work at those people they don't have two heads or neither do they have you know four hands so it's the same two legs and two hands you have so why not work improve yourself so you can be better than those people and eh? so let me take a break and play some music for you while i still invite some people to join this video you know what i'm saying stay on point on point so <laughs> It's the king lady show so now you see people hate you for reasons you don't know people hate you for reasons you cannot figure out you understand so people are definitely going to hate whether you do good or you do bad people are going to hate on you in otago in otago dj owas let me take your comment dj owas says fear and its manifestation we are insecure of something the other person has and we want or feel yes something the other person has and we want to feel we deserve yes therefore that jealous or insecurity comes out in from of anger or hate that's a very good point dj owas you see so dj owas is telling us here that fear and its manifestation is the insecurity in us when someone has something we feel that the person doesn't deserve it we deserve that we begin to feel insecure okay so that can stem to being jealous of somebody and stem mm. to being bitter and angry over what the person has that's a good point dj always you know we have taken that Yvie obasi you says god bless you thank you very much god bless you too God bless you too. So don't forget to invite people to join this video. Okay? Yes. So we are going to continue while the music will be coming up soon. Let us continue the reasons. Because they are insecure. Exactly what DJ Owas have just said is one of the reasons. Insecurity. So because people are insecure of what you have, they are not sure if they're going to get it. If they don't know how to work to get that. You know, so when a person thinks that someone is a threat, when a person thinks that someone is a threat, yes, he might hate him. Do you understand? He might hate him. People could be hating you because they feel insecure. Exactly what Owa mm. said. So people could feel insecure and insecurity can come from also in a relationship. Maybe your husband or your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your wife is beginning to eye another woman the wife the boyfriend the main chick begin to feel insecure you begin to feel ah 
What you make my girl they look this girl? I been at her big breast. I been at her color. I been at the hair where she put. I been at the makeup. How she draw her makeup? How she do her lipstick? You know which kind of car she they drive? Which kind of house she they live? Which kind of education career she get? So you begin to feel insecure. So when a man or a woman is eyeing another person in relationship, insecurity comes in. Jealousy comes in. Yes, because you begin to feel, oh my God, I'm not good enough for him anymore. Or it could be at a job place. You begin to say, oh my God, my boss wants to fire me. Oh, maybe I'm not good enough. That's why they employ, they employ new people. Do you understand? So because they are insecure, insecurity leads to people hating mm. you. Okay? So jealousy, jealousy is another point we had, you know, mentioned. Jealousy is one of the most common reasons behind hatred. Yes, a person who is jealous of you might hate you if the emotions go out of his control. Yes, when the emotion of a jealous person gets out of control, it becomes hatred. It becomes hatred. Hatred in the sense that they can even poison you they can kill you because of what you have because they don't have what you have eh? so why people become jealous people become jealous for so many many reasons insecurity jealousy envy hatred you know not being able to work hard for themselves to achieve the success that you have achieved can make them hate you you remind them mm -hmm. of their own flaws. You remind them of the things they cannot do. You remind them of their insecurities. You remind them of their ugliness if you're beautiful. You remind them of their poverty if you're rich. You remind them of, of their sadness if you're happy. You remind them of their being unfortunate if you're fortunate. Okay? So, you, re you are opposite of them. You are opposite of the person who's hating on you. If you are very smart... For example, and one of your friends believe he isn't smart enough. The moment he sees you, he's going to feel insecure. He's going to feel jealous. He's going to feel envy. And if he does not control that emotion, it's going to lead to bitterness and anger and hatred. Okay? So he might remember this fact and as a result, he might hate you for it. Because you remind him that he's not doing good enough for himself. Yes. That's another reason. So let us play mm -hmm. music. Oh, eh? I hope you're enjoying the show. I hope you're enjoying the show. Do not forget. Yes. So in your home, in your family, at your workplace, in school, you have household enemies. Enemies of progress. Yes, you have enemies of progress. Because the Bible says, and your own enemies shall come from your own households. From the people you know. Those are the people who are hating you. Who don't want you to progress. Who don't want you to go higher. Who want to pull you down. Who want to become better than you. In fact, they don't only want to become better than you. They don't want you to even reach them at all at all. You know. So, those are the things that we are going to be discussing today. Household enemies. Okay. So, leave your comments. Let me take some comments. And play some music too for you. <laughs> so I hope you they saw your coat according to your size. <laughs> yes, so Tamisinus, bless you, the king lady. Yes, Tamisinus, thank you for joining me. Happy Easter to you. How are you and your family? Wow, it's been a while I saw you, girl. Wow, nice to see you, nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you. So we are discussing reasons why people hate and household enemies. So we've taken some points why people hate. For those who are joining me for the first time, this is King Lady Cheyenne Sin, your talk show host, your blogger, your critic, and your music promoter. And you are watching the King Lady Show. All right? DJ Owa says, some hate because they have nothing better to do in life. Exactly. So when they don't have anything to do in life, that is when they see you as the one who is greater, as the one who's better, as the one who's blessed, and they are cursed, 
as the one who is prettier and they are ugly, as the one who is smart and they are dumb. You know, so you they mm. see you as their opposite. They see you as their opposite. All right. So I still just want to continue the show with um, this music I've been playing of Toa. You know, I just love. I just love the song it makes sense okay <laughs> yes so yes yeah, so continue to be sharing this video continue to be sharing this video yes uh-huh yes so Yeah, it's eight. What is lekker? What happened in your month? Snoop? Put a minute. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. Tammy says, We are blessed. Thanks, dear. Yeah. Happy Easter to you and your family. It's a long time for you. Yes, long time. Yeah. Um, who book you as a team? Um, you? Yeah. It can save her. Say comments, it can vec book. If mm -hmm. yes says, well, people hate for various reasons. People hate out of jealousy. Yes. People hate out of um Okay, let me read. That's a long one. If ye obasi you. Various reasons people hate out of jealousy. Example, money. When a friend or relative thinks you are prosperous, then they, yes. Relationship status, when a friend or relative thinks your partner treats you like a queen or king and probably was experiencing the opposite of your sweet relationship. That's a good point, a very good point. Thank you so much. Yes, if you're about to you, you just gave a good point. Thank you, guys. So let me play music for you. And I will be with you in a while. This thing to my to my song, baby, don't cry. Okay. Baby, don't cry. It's the king lady. I'll be right back. <laughs> Tell me, see you say people hate because they can't have what you have and can't be you. Back. That's another point. Thank you so much. I'll be with you now. Oh, yeah. Baby, don't cry. Don't cry. Baby, don't cry. My woman, don't cry. Please don't cry. Oh, my baby, don't cry. I never really mean to. African baby don't cry, oh man don't cry, baby don't cry, oh my baby don't cry, oh man don't cry, baby don't cry, oh man, don't cry. Oh man, don't cry. Hey, baby, don't cry. Hey, baby, please don't cry, don't cry, yes so, I'm back, Woo. baby don't cry, Bless for my birth. Yes, yes, yes. Let's continue. Thank you. Thank you for your patience and thank you for sharing this video. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your likes. Let me be seeing all the love eh, as you're enjoying the show like this. So if you assess fertility and children, when a friend or relative is passing a kind of difficulties in having a child, let alone having children, but see you giving birth to children both boys and girls at will wow that is another wonderful point given yes exactly the point when someone has what mm. you can't have when they're bearing children and you feel like you're barren when they're getting married and you feel like no man is prizing your marriage every saturday your friends and they marry but you know they marry eh 
So you your own that they do a shabby all the time, but you know they marry. So it go make you jealous, it go make you envy. Eh? And then you don't date for marriage, your friends they tell you all oh, the better, better things say husband they do for her. You know, and your husband not fit afford those things. You go make people they jealous, it go make people they envy, it go make people they hate. So in so many areas in life, at school, you know, you they brilliant. You know, brilliant reach you. They look for ways to poison you so that you will not become something in life. So yes, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of reasons. <laughs> Red eye monsters. Yes, that's right. That's right. Long time. Hope you've calmed down now. Hello. <laughs> Mama Mutana Tessie. Good afternoon, mm -hmm. auntie. How is the baby doing? Yes, so happy Easter to you. Thank you. Yes. So yes, that's the, those are the reasons why people envy you, people jealous you, people hate you. It's because they cannot be you, they cannot have what you have. They hate their life, they see you that, I mean, your life is flawless and you remind them of their mistakes, of their flaws, of the things they cannot be in life, of everything that they are not. You see, it's what makes people to hate. And why? Is it your fault that people are hating? No, it is not your fault. Are you going to stop living your life because people are hating? No, you can't stop living your life. Because if you do that, you are only living the life of the haters there. You're going to become miserable. Because then you want to please them. You don't want to wear that Gucci bag so that my friend will not feel inferior. Oh, I'm not going to marry this big man no, so that I'm not going to hurt my friend's feelings so, because she cannot find the big man. Oh, I'm not going to buy this car even though I can afford it too, so that people will not think that I'm showing sure off. Man, live your life. So if you got it, you flaunt it. You know what I'm saying? It is not your fault that people are frustrated. It is not your fault that people are miserable. It is not your fault that people are lazy. It is not your fault that people are not as smart as you are, as brilliant as you are, as talented as you are. As rich as you are, okay, as happy as you are, as blessed as you are, as favored as you are, as intelligent as you are, as generous as you are, it is not your fault. And people can also hate you actually for being too generous. People can hate you for being a giver. Oh, she too, they give. No, only she gets. Oh, into the give. No, only every, every time you go come, they give us, give us. We will not. God help me or make me self and they give people, you know. So you don't pray that kind of prayer. That is a kind of jealousy. That is envy. You know, you receive it though. You take the thing the person gives you. But for the back of your mind, you go say, eh. You go just come the show. Or maybe you travel from Europe to a village. Those are your uncles. Those are your aunties. Mm. Then you say, ah, let me go and give my auntie one bag of rice. So your auntie will collect the rice. Do like say, bless you. When you come out, you don't go gather and fellow rich people. Say, you don't see that my, that, you don't see that my niece. So then burn on which day. So he won't come laugh me. So I don't get food. He come, now one bag of rice. I go, sure. I will show you. See this small picky way they burn on which day. That is how it starts. So, you see, that's how it starts. So sometimes we don't even know who to help because the people you're helping may be the people who are killing you. Yes. Ah, it don't call home again to call show. You want to speak grammar for us and the stuff for Bodo Libo. Okay, we go show. Sure. They will even come beg you money. If you don't remember them, now they go carry their hand, come beg you, so that they go use that your money, go do babalawa for you. Make make your plane get crash, or make you become junkie for Europe, so that you don't go feel remember them, come home, come, come post for them. Eh? You see? So that spirit is bad. Envy, jealousy. It leads to bitter hatred that you can kill somebody because you hate your life. So when they're hating on you, it's not you they're hating on, they hate their life. You're opposite of what they are you are just everything they are not everything they cannot be everything they wish for and the worst part of it is that they are wishing or they are dreaming but they cannot take action <laughs> so they talk to witchcraft household enemies they cannot take action they don't know if to go left or right because the blessings that the lord has in store for you human being cannot see it so god will surprise them as you're working hard, God is helping you because heaven help those who help themselves. As you're working hard towards your success, towards anything you're doing in life, for God to bless you, God will definitely bless your handwork as long as you're not doing it to hurt another person. God will bless your handwork. God, even they show mercy to the criminals, mm. talk of people where they work genuine, legit jobs. Eh? So now, those people who are too lazy to work, 
Who are too lazy to even stand up and do their makeup? To even brush their hair. They will come and look this king like the video now. They will say, Siam. Every day they change hair. You don't carry this one, come again. Now see the kind of hair when you come put for this video today. Mm. They'll be, you know, talking this. That time you're talking, complaining, envying, jealousy, somebody. You can use it to, to make your life better. To improve yourself. To work on yourself. You know what I'm saying? So... That is what we are talking about. Is that no, no, no. I say, just hush. Yes, so let me take some of your comments before we continue. If you are Basi, you say yes. Yes. Momota Natesi says, only to hang you. God pass them. Yes, so. Yes, so. They will take it from you only to use it to harm you. And so that is why it's important to always pray. In whatever you're giving to somebody, always cover it with the blood of Jesus because you don't know they smile in your face, but they frown behind you. Okay, they laugh with you in your face, but behind your back, they are killing you. So you don't know. That is why only God can see the heart of man. The heart of man is weakened. Mm. Only God can see that. Even you, the actions you take sometimes, you don't know why you take those actions. Okay, so guys, enjoy this video. I will be right back. Okay. Let's go there. Let's go there. Put your comments. Put your comments. Let us know the reasons why people hate. Reasons why people hate. And household enemies. Okay. Reasons why people hate and household enemy. Yes. <laughs> very 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 nice comments yes DJ Awa says they are jealous people they curse and wish for your downfall because they want you to lose um, the things you have that they don't they see life as a zero exactly that is one of the points too that is one of the points too you know when they cannot be that Maybe they have tried to upgrade and they cannot upgrade yourself to your level or to even pass yourself. They will now wish for your downfall. They'll be praying for your downfall. They'll be doing anything they can do to bring you down. You understand? So I'll be right back. Enjoy this music. Let me. I'll be back. Keep your comments. I am back yes okay now you know how we do it we are doing double shifts mm -hmm. so we are back to the show you're watching the king lady show thank you thank you for joining and for sharing and for commenting yes we are still on the reasons people hate physical attractiveness of Basi you says Physical attractiveness when a friend or relative thinks you are more beautiful than her. Yes, that can cause them to hate on you. That is another good point we are getting here. Yes, so. Yes, so. Yes, so. Yes, so. Yes, guys, you're on point. All of you are on point, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay. Make a find better music play for now. Hmm? So your coat to your size. <laughs> you see, they know they saw their coat to their side. That's why they, they hate. Eh? 
<laughs> yes, yes, yes. God bless you, my lady. Thank you, Ivie Obasi. You God bless you. So we are still on the topic reasons why people hate. Reasons why people hate. People hate for so many reasons. People hate because they cannot be you. People hate because they are jealous of you. People hate because they don't have what you have. People hate because because they see you as somebody who they cannot reach. And when they begin to hate you, the next thing they want to do is to pull you down. The next thing they want to do is to pull you down. Okay? So, so many reasons why people hate. Now, let us talk about those haters in our families, which are the household enemies. Yes, household enemy could be your sister, your brother, your father, your mother. Anybody can be a household enemy, you understand? That particular relation that doesn't want you to sleep, that doesn't want you to smile, that doesn't want you to be happy, that doesn't want you to be favored, that doesn't want you to be blessed. That particular family member is an enemy of progress. That particular family member is a household mm. enemy. Okay? Because when one person is blessed in a family, the whole family is blessed. Mama Motana Tessy says, some hate you when they can't control you. Yes, some hate you when they can't control you. Some hate you when they can't control you. When they give, maybe, maybe they, 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 there's a way they want you to be in their life and you cannot be that. You give them insecurity so they can hate you for it. It could be your boss. It could be your mother. It could be your father. It could be your friend who wants to control your life. It could be your partner who wants to control your life. So, but when they cannot control you, it makes them to hate you. Um, Evie, that's a good point Tessie gave us. Yes, control, control freaks can be hateful because they, they don't, you're, you're more than them. You know, you're more than them. They see you as a threat. They feel insecure, but they want to use that control to bring you to their level or to bring you down. So they are going to feel on the same level with you or they are going to feel above you. So, so when you also in a relationship where a partner is controlling the other, it is always going to lead to violence because one person may be stubborn in the relationship and the other person wants to control. So that's not never going to work. They're never going to last. Yes. If you are bashing you, thank you. Matana Tessie, thank you for that. I appreciate that comment. Yes, control freaks can be haters. Some don't even know why they are hating. And sadly, some don't know why they are hating. Some are hating just because other people are hating. They don't know why they hate you. Oh, this person, I don't like this game. Okay, me too, I'm not going to like this game because my friend don't like this game. Oh, my brother, I don't like this game. So I'm not going to like this game because my brother, you know, my neighbors, they don't like, they didn't play with this person. So I'm not going to play with this. So some people don't know the reason why they hate you. And some people may hate you and later they begin to regret. You know, they begin to regret why they're hating on you because they cannot see any reason why they're actually hating on you. Do you understand? They can't see any reason why they're hating on you. So they see that you whom they're hating on, you don't have time for them. You're not thinking about them. So they realize yourself and then they want to be friends with you again. So, but in that sense, you need to be careful how you operate with this kind of people, how you work with them. Because once a hater can always be a like they say, once a cheat, always a cheat. Or once a liar, always a liar. <laughs> once a thief, always a thief. Except they repent from the bottom of their heart. You understand? So some people don't know why they are hating. Some are just hating because other people are hating. Some don't also know why they like you. They just like you because other people are liking you. So some people are just all over the place. They are not stable. You understand? So they are not stable. And so anywhere they think they're good, now they then go there. Anywhere in the bad, why you go see their show for them. So yes. Continue now. Let us continue with the household enemies, your brothers, your sisters, your aunties, your uncles who don't want you to progress in this life. Mm? They don't want you to drink water and keep cup. They will complain. They don't want you to shine. They will complain. You see, so you pray against it because the Bible says that we have household enemies. Those relations that hate you for no just cause. Your existence gives them sleepless nights. Anything that concerns you. Ah, if you're married today, they will say, hey, why be not be their daughter? They marry the man. Even though their daughter don't marry. They already said, chase their daughter out of the husband's house. So that the man, where, <laughs> when they come marry you, go see their daughter to marry. 
You see, so that sort of enemy is there. Those are those family members, and these ones are very, very dangerous. They are more dangerous than outsiders because they know you well. They know you. So those ones are very, very harmful. Now they rat away the inside house. Now they go call the rat with the outside. Say, come, or fish day here. Abi, now so. So when they rat away the house, the house of enemy. Now you go go invite the enemies first, and then they sell you out to those people. Where we say, if they want to kill you, they go get you. You go come from somebody will know you. So that is household enemy. Household enemy can be somebody self where they cook for you. You go poison your food. You don't pack them. You don't work up. Household enemy if it be for your workplace too, your colleagues. Because a household be that. Anyway, one are there for group now households. Because then you become like a family. On this Facebook, we house household enemy on Facebook. In your yeah. list of friends, there are household enemies. <laughs> you don't understand. Those ones where we say they let they, they vest when people they call comment for your thing. <laughs> they let they like and they don't want comment, they don't want to do shishi, but then they're there. They, they see everything you they do. They just they wait for the day when something bad go happen to you. Now that day you go see them begin to show you love. <laughs> those are household enemies on Facebook. Those are your friends. You understand? So pray against this kind of people. People with hateful minds. People who cannot work hard to, you know, improve themselves. Who are just lazy and jealous of other people. Who are just envying other people because of what they have. Because they feel that they are a mistake. God created them as a mistake. See, like I said, everybody is unique, everybody is special, everybody is blessed. It depends on your mindset. Okay? So my first way, when we were growing up, we didn't have, we did not even know that we would be in Europe. We did not even know that we would drive a car. We did not even know that we would go even the, the even, you know, we don't know anything. We didn't know. We were suffering. But look at us today. Some people will look at me and say, ha, not that charity of yesterday, now she be this. Now she did they call king lady like this now. Now wow. No be that girl will be no fee pay her school fees before. No be that girl will be the wear tete uniform con school. No be that girl will be no get food to eat. But today now she be king lady. That is life for you. You understand? So me being the king lady, not because I came from a very, very rich home. It's your mindset. It's the way you carry yourself. It's what you have become. What you have made yourself. You say, ah, I'm not going to, because I'm poor as a child, doesn't mean I'm going to be poor in my future. You know? So everything and how you make your bed. Instead of to envy somebody, to jealous them, to hate them, you go improve yourself. Make yourself stable. Focus. Look for one thing that is going to give you joy and do that thing. And even though if it is something that somebody, because some people, they will follow you not because they like you. They follow you because they are jealous of you. Yes, and plan well. Good plan. Plan well. Thank you very much. Good plan. Mama yeah, Matana Tessie says, good plan. Plan your life well. If you plan your life well, you not go poor for this life. If you plan your life well, not a person go get where you go come the hate on the person because you know say yourself you go feel get her. You too can have it. You know, it's like Trump today. If they be the Trump, say Trump, he go become president. But Trump go there and say, ah, even though he's not the politically correct, he's going there by being a realist, by seeing what they happen for government. So not be some government suppose they run the country. You understand? For example, though not everybody like him, but he has a vision. That's why he went into the place to become the president. You know, he don't get the money. He get money. He get power. The only thing he get the influence. So now you don't become the president, you don't become powerful worldwide. Mm -hmm. You understand? So that kind of thing. It could be anybody to be like Obama. When you became Obama did not get anything to if you look in pictures to when Obama was young. He was a poor boy too. But he ruled America. He ruled. So now so this life, we don't underestimate yourself. You don't know what you become tomorrow. You don't know what God has designed you. Before God made anybody, God has designed us to say this is who you're going to be. We, he only put us for this earth to live that purpose that he's created us for. That's why it's not good to be doing every time what people are doing because you may be losing your own. Because you want to be like the king lady. You want to do everything that the king lady is doing. You don't know that God designed your life differently. But just because you don't love yourself, you feel like if you become like the king lady, you begin to love yourself. But it's not easy. If I give you my shoe... To wear it for one day, you might not be able to wear it and stand for two minutes without saying you want to remove the shoe. So don't try to be like somebody else. 
always be yourself because your own load might be lighter than that person's load that you want to be like. The blessings that God has for you, you know, the challenges. Because nothing good comes easily to the people you're envying. They're not, they're not just close their eyes. Those things come meet them. Though some people are born blessed that they don't have to walk from the one where they born them to the day they die. They don't need to walk. Because God don't bless their generation. Their mama and their papa, they just they walk for them to they enjoy. They don't need to go say the one walk to feed. You know what now they talk? Montana says also plan and back it up with prayers. Exactly. Plan your life. Let your life have a structure. You know, make good plans. Make good visions. Good, dream good dreams. Not to say you're going to dream. You want to become like Tessie. You want to become like DJ Owas. You want to become like Maria or Samudia. Thank you for joining us. Happy Good Friday. Thank you. And happy Easter in advance. You know, you want to become like somebody, but you're not planning your own life. And you're not praying. You see? You plan. You pray. You can plan all you want, but if you don't back it up with prayer too, it's not going to work. And you can pray all you want. If you also do not have faith, nothing will happen. You know? So faith. Praying without having faith. That is your belief. It is your belief that is moving mountains. It is your belief that is making things happen for you. It is the belief of President Trump that put him where he is today. He believed so much in himself. He believed so much in himself. Any great person you see on earth today believed in the self. They believed in their vision. They believed in their goals. And they planned. And they prayed. Before it will come to pass. Yes. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you can work a whole year, two years. Nothing is coming. You're not making profit. You're not improving. You know. And then you begin to hate on people who everybody is working on their timeline, you know. Somebody may get married today before you. The person go wait 10 years. The person no bump picking. But you, you waited that 10 years before you got married. Just when you get married, bam, the next week you don't get belly. It is like that. It's not by who first married. It's not also by who first bump picking. Because somebody fit married now, they born children, born children. The person picking, they die. But you will never get one picking you. They cry, God, give me oh, God, give me oh, God, give me oh. But if they see another person where they born the picking, they die. Wait till you go talk. You go say, God, if not that kind of belly, no one gets. So don't ever want to be like somebody. You don't know what the person is going through in their life. All that glitters is not gold. Don't hate people for who they are, for what they have. Because you are special. You are unique. You are wonderful. You are wonderfully made. You are awesomely made. You are just awesome. Beautiful. Majestic. Yes, Mama Antana said, I'm a witness after eight years. You see, a witness of being married and not having a child. After eight years, you have a child. But some people would be envying you there. Now, hey, hey, see, I'm all, you don't marry since no picking don't come. But God, come butter your bread. Come shut your enemy's mouth. Come still give you that in way they use they laugh you. That is life for you. It is your heart. You know, God knows what everybody wants. And God gives people the gift according to his own will. If it is not the will of God that Mama Motana tells him we have a child, she will not have a child today. Human beings must have ruled her out. No matter what anybody abuses you in this life, even though they carry your uh, defamity or anything, you know, whether you be imbecile or they use them abuse you, you get one leg, they use them abuse you, you rule it out. You say that is not the story that the God who created me has written over my life. That is not the story that God has written over my life. God's handwriting in my life is what matters, not the handwriting of man. God has the final say. Do you understand? So now go commit suicide, fall into depression, because you marry for 20 years, you know, born picking. The day when God say, you go born, you go born. Sometimes God lets people mock you. Sometimes God let those things to happen so that he will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies and anoint your head with oil and your cup shall overflow. Yes! 
God is not answering prayer now does not mean that he wants, he's not answering that prayer because he wants something better for you. He's not giving you that husband now because the man you are eyeing is not the man that God knows will give you joy. All that glitters is in gold. Hey, why that brother dates me for 12 years? That brother no come marry me. Oh. That brother, I don't go church. I don't repent. I don't give my life. I don't do this. I don't do that. The brother not still marry me. That is because not with the brother where God prepared for you be that. You just a first son. Hey, this sister, oh, I have spent all my money, oh. I have taken double shifts, oh, just for this sister, oh. Hey, this sister no one marry me. It is because it is not the one that the Lord has planned for you. Man proposed, God disposes. Yes, it wasn't made for you. Forget the person. So I'm going to say, oh, let me be giving him another year. Maybe next year he go engage me. Next year he go stay there for two. You go car, car. For there you go old. <laughs> it never happen. You understand? So don't envy anybody where God don't bless them. Like as this man, Tina, as God don't bless her with bouncing baby Jojo. Mm. Clap for God, I beg. Put your hands together for the Lord. But I'm going to another testimony. My old elder sister, 11 years, 11 years. She stayed for marriage. You know what did they, what did they not abuse her? The mother said that they find a wife for the husband. Maybe the husband go marry. Hey, nothing. They will call and say, you know, like Nigerian now. Nah? You stay for marriage for how many years? You know, bump picking. The family people go use math, finish you. They go call you man. They go call you our names. They go call you witch. They go say you don't chop out the picking way, way God give you. You don't chop out. But oh, get you come. God's time is the best. Eh? You know how many people don't commit suicide? Say because they don't get picking. So they don't abuse. They say, hey, you don't do abortion all the time when you're young. Now you marry us, man. You're not feel born. Nothing that they come off of people's mouths. But they don't know now God's time is the best. Even people don't do abortion. God, they still show them mercy. Give them plenty, plenty children. They even born a Jima joiner because God is merciful. If God na man, nobody for day. If God na hater, like human being, none of us will survive. Because the water where you drink, they pay human being. The talk where you talk, they pay human being. The belly where you carry, they pay human being. Husband where you marry, they pay human being. Picky where you burn, they pay human being. What thing you go to where human being go talk say you too good? The same human being where go praise you, now the same human being where go curse you. Yes. So reasons why people hate are there. People hate because they cannot have what you have. Why well, some don't even know why they're hating? <laughs> they don't know why they're hating. They just don't like their life. They just don't understand life anymore. They're just miserable, frustrated. So they hate. You know? So it's important to keep yourself busy. You know? Do something that will give you joy. But let let it not be that it is that are giving you joy. It's to be hating on people, pulling people down, trying to spoil people's business. Eh? Those things are not good. Make your own friends. Find your own territory. Build your own empire. So that you will stop hating on other people. So that you will stop comparing your life to other people. So that you will stop killing yourself because somebody is better and greater than you. Matana Tessie says, thank you very much, Kelly. See you soon. God bless. God bless you. One love. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Yes. So it is very important to love yourself because if you do not love yourself, you will begin to come across to people as hater. Always have something to do. Be creative, be innovative, be so busy with your life that you don't even have time to notice who is hating you. Yes, like me now, I'm too busy now working on my own grass to even see whose grass is greener. And then people will be there hating on me when they don't know the struggles, the challenges that I am going through. For me to become that shining baby that they want to see and admire and even want to become like. They don't know what you have gone through. You know. So yes. So pray against household enemies. Pray against the spirit of hating, jealousy, envy, backbiting. Eh? Have a happy, happy, happy Easter with your family. I too have something to do. So I just thought I should discuss this topic with you. And next time I am going to... Tell you my own experience with household enemy. Yes. 
there's one of my uncle who did not was not happy that i got married this is my uncle he came and confessed that he was a witch that's why he did not come to my traditional marriage you see he is a witch because it is not his daughter who the man is coming to marry he became a witch because i'll be going abroad he became a witch because i'll be having children in the future he became a witch because god is taking me from grass to grace household enemies enemies of progress and eh? the marriage went unfinished the next day he began to confess why he didn't come to the marriage how they did meeting in their witchcraft so what i'm telling you is that there are household enemies who they eat witchcraft in because they want to pull you down you pray against it you know which is this days they don't have to turn to cockroach turn to rat turn to mosquito for them to perform which they perform it koro koro you know so you pray against that spirit yes so we have discussed the reasons, some of the reasons why people are, you know, hating on you. And if you know that these reasons we have discussed, you also have those traits in you. Please drop it. Pray to God. It's not easy to leave the spirit of jealousy. Because every day people must buy new things. Every day people must shine. Every day people must graduate. Every day people must marry. Every day people must bump picking. Every day people must buy land. Every day people must build house. Every day God, they bless people. So instead of you to be hating every day, why not go and upgrade your life so that every day you will be happy and smiling? You understand? Uh -huh. That's where you'll be happy. You'll not be thinking, ah, king ladies don't go buy another cow. Me, I never even see bicycle they drive for this country. And king lady just they show off. For say they show off. Now, wow. Which which go go bless me? You see, don't fold hand they look king lady. You know, go go work hard for yourself. You go come be there, the jealous king lady. You see? So it is not my fault when people are hating on me. It is not my fault when people are jealous of me or you. Mm. It is their fault. So those of you who have that spirit, please drop it because it is hindering your own blessing. Like I said, God made you special, unique. He created you to be wonderfully, you know, a person, a wonderful person. So if you do not go and look for your own purpose in life, your light cannot shine. When you're there busy hating on people who their lights are shining, your light cannot shine. You are using that dark cloud to cover your own blessings from locating you. So you stop hating, stop being enemy of progress, and stop being a household enemy so that your blessings will come to you. Thank you for watching this show, and I'll be rounding up with this show right now. This is the King Lady Chayans. Do not forget to subscribe to my live videos, like my page, invite your friends to like this page. And next week, Sunday, I'll be having... EU artist promotion on this page. So the flyers are going to be out soon. You're going to see the artist that is going to be promoted this time around in the King Lady Careless Present Show Careless Music Promo with international and Afro based artists in EU. Okay? So thank you very much. I love you all. God bless. It's the King Lady. Bye.